G'day, it's Rob here again. In the last video you would have seen where I did a quick and dirty milling job using very basic technique um, on the Chinese lathe to modify this mount for my air pencil die grind if I can use it on the shear line. And just set the centre center height up correctly with it. So now we've done that. So now I'm going to use this to correct run out in the uh, the register on the spindle. Uh, the chuck is not in spec and I suspect that I'm pretty sure that the register is the problem. I ran the test indicator over it and it's showing 0 0.0102 to run out on the register. Somebody's obviously refaced it with a high speed steel so I'm going to use a a grinding disc on it to do a very light grind and that should bring it up 100%. So we'll see how we go. Just before we get going on this I'll explain what a register error is if you're not sure. If you look at the spindle on the lathe on the end is the bit that the chuck is mounted onto and I'll either have a, a flat plate or bolt through or it'll be threaded. Now this section here is the register area that's where the chuck that you put on. This section here matches up against that section there so basically if that is not perfectly on the vertical if it, you get a swash plate effect if it's canted in any direction and what will happen is that will make the chuck rotate in an oscillation and the job will transcribe a cone so basically a normal chuck error where the jaws are out of alignment equally uh, well they're, they're, they're horizontal, horizontal but they're um, out of alignment the job will go like this but when you've got a register error the job will go like this it will go in a cone shaped path and you'll see that it's most evident you'll see the tip if you put a very fine tip like a dead center into chuck you'll see the tip will oscillate that's a pretty much a dead giveaway that the, the first place to look is the spindle register it's not necessarily the spindle register I mean a worn chuck can do it or a badly machined chuck even the brand new chuck can give you that effect but the first place to look invariably on a lathe is the uh, the register. Okay, well, we'll get on with it. Now I've got a shim at the back of this chuck because I reckon that somebody's already had a go at this in the past and uh, the machine a, a little bit away which I've had to um, shim up so the chuck would fit. So now it's a matter of uh, grinding on that register and uh, correct the run out. So we'll bring it in on a bit of an angle, like so. Oops, where's my key got? That should be sufficient. That way we can get into the right into the uh, the corner with it. What I'll do is I'll mark that register, wipe it off with a bit of petrol and then I'll mark it with texture so we can see how the grinding is going. You don't want to grind any more out than you have to. And the grinding it always pays to put some marker pen on it. That way you can see exactly how your grinding is going.
pretty good for me. You can usually tell by looking at the point whether or not there's any run out and that's pretty damn good. Okay, we'll see if this is any better. Now that's 0 0.01, 0 0.015, which is about half a thou, which is what Sherline recommend. Um, a new one should be clocking, so it's pretty good for an old machine like this. That's not too bad at all. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's certainly a lot better than it was. It was clocking 0 0.03, which is okay for a big lathe. I mean, if you can get 0 0.03 on a, on a Chinese lathe, 10 inch Chinese lady doing okay. So yeah, definitely came up better. And uh, I took all the run out out of the register face. And of course, as I said, doing it with a, with a little grinder is better than doing it with a high speed steel cutter because you get rid of those ridges. You've got a perfect finish and uh, it'll be as good as you can hope to get it. All right, well, that's it for me. I hope you got something out of that. See you next time. Cheers.